so I thought I'd do a quick, well it probably won't be quick, but a video on how I make the um, acrylic rings because it's been well requested. I've only made two so far so I'm still getting my head around it but here's the first one. Just really, really simple and so is this one. And here's the second one. This looks really bling and really like intricate but it's not. I literally just put a bow on the top. <laughs> so I'm going to just do a video on how I make them. So there is probably better ways out there. Um, I, as usual, didn't research it properly before I started doing it. I just kind of went in and hoped for the best. So I'm literally just using this Magpie gel colour bottle. I'm using the lid of it. I've put some sellotape around the lid just to protect it a little. Um, and I'm just going to be using the tip because then it's easier to get off the off the gel at the end. I um, I didn't do that to start with and yeah it wasn't fun <laughs> oh i just wanted to go over what i'm going to be using in this set so i'm going to just it might end up really ugly just bear in mind that this video is literally just to show you how to do it not how to make a pretty one <laughs> so i thought i'd try and get some ink in there because i love inks and i just thought that would look really effective and then some silver shards so instead of using colored acrylic or anything i'm going to use clear acrylic still but i'm going to use the ink to dye it I don't know how that's going to work or if it will or not, but I'm going to give it a go. So first of all, I'm just going to pick up... Oh, I need to move my camera a little bit. Okay, I just had to move it a bit because I was knocking it with my brush. So I'm just picking up a little bit of clear and then I'm going to just drown... Drown... Drain... <laughs> my God. Drain out the um, back of the bead because I don't want it to be really, really thick for this. Really, really dry even because you want to have time to move it around. So obviously depending on how thick or thin you want the nail, that's all personal preference. I'm just going to do it about this thick. If you want it thinner, just do it thinner. So I do mess around with it probably a bit more than I should to be fair, but it's fine. I'm really sorry if you can hear a fly in the background. He's also driving me mental as well, so... Apologies for that, it's driving me insane, but there you go. So it's pretty handy actually doing it on a gel colour lid because the acrylic kind of runs where you want it anyway because obviously it's all on an angle so it tends to just run exactly where you want it without you having to do a lot. That's pretty helpful. Um, so just place it, give it a sec to run on its own and then just help it out slightly with where I want it to go. Please don't like think that this is the exact way you have to do it and stuff like I have literally this is my third one and I've still not watched anyone else's videos or anything like that yet because I'm impulsive and I just do things <laughs> straight away. Which somehow sometimes it works out good and sometimes it does not. So there is probably much better and easier ways to do this out there. I'm just too impatient to bother to check. So congratulations to you because if you're watching this that means you're not like me. <laughs> so I'm just tidying all that up and then when I've got a nice I keep checking it from this angle to see if there's any like bits that are much more raised than the rest just to make it all nice and even because then because the end filing part is like the most annoying bit of the whole process so if you can make that bit better for yourself throughout then definitely do it so i've just noticed that that is not all the way to the tip so i'm just gonna add a bit more it's a bit of a an, a stupid move to do it on a black bottle with clear to be fair because you can't really see a lot but it's fine so I'm just making sure that the clear is everywhere that I want it and then at this point this is where I'm going to add my ink I'm probably going to really regret this and I'm not even going to know what it looks like until the very end when I actually take off um, when I take the ring off of the gel but it's fine I don't mind if it doesn't look very good it's not like I'm actually doing this for a reason 
I'm just doing it for fun because we're all super bored. So at this point, um, in the last in the last two that I've done, this has been the point where I've added glitter. So I've done my thin coat of clear, and then I've added my glitter afterwards. Um, I feel like I should have done blue and purple because the pink's a bit pointless, really. But this is where I've added my glitter. So I've added glitter with clear acrylic, just a really small amount, and then put that on the nail. I don't even know if this is colour in it. And then encapsulated, just popped a bit of clear over the top just to make sure it's nice and... Oh, God. I've got pink art ink everywhere. <laughs> Today's not my day. It's all right, powering through. So I'm just absolutely drowning it by the looks of it in pink there we go i'm just going to leave it for a few seconds to dry and clean up all the ink that i've just spilled okay so i've just picked up all of the spilt ink <laughs> so i'm going in now with these little shards so i don't want loads and loads like i don't want it to be full completely full coverage shards i just want it to be just a, a few like here and there kind of thing so I'm just gonna add quite a few to it and then drag them round and zoom in a little bit so I have no idea how the ink is gonna look so just bear that in mind the big reveal at the end <laughs> although if it was me I definitely wouldn't wait till the end I'd be skipping if I was you I'd want to see what it's gonna look like <laughs> but anyway so I'm just because the problem is with these, if they're too thin, they will snap Like as you're trying to get them even just off this gel polish. So you need to make sure that they're a certain thickness, um, just like you would an acrylic nail, um, for it to be sufficient enough to actually hold up and stay in one piece. So these shards are really, really shiny. It's really difficult to get the camera to stay focused on them. I actually can't remember where I got these from, which is really annoying. Oh, I think it might have been AliExpress, actually. I have a set of 12 of them, and they're all different colours, and they're so nice. I love them. I just want to add a few more to some really big gaps that look odd. And when I finish this, I will encapsulate. So I was going to do this as, a, as like how I usually do my videos and just do it and then voice over after so I can speed it up. But then I thought, well, no, because I don't want you to see my video being like seven minutes long and think, oh, it only takes seven minutes to do them. That's amazing. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> it definitely takes longer than that. But it's actually, it's one of those things that I thought was going to be an absolute nightmare. And I was like, oh, God, I've seen all these photos of them thinking oh that's amazing but I just don't have the patience for that and honestly if that's how you're feeling don't they are so like I don't know how to explain it they're just so therapeutic to do it's really um it's quite a chilled out thing to do actually but you do have to have patience especially if you're like me and you end up throwing all your stuff all over the place that pink dyed everywhere look at my thumb <laughs> just dyed me but it's fine dye is like ink is like the weirdest thing ever because loads went everywhere and it looked like a whole bottle's worth and it was literally the tiniest bit it's crazy so when i've done that just says i'm just gonna have a look around the whole thing and make sure i've got enough on there i've not got any odd gaps going on so i'm happy with that um, I'm going to leave that now just to set into that acrylic so I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'll come back for the next step so while I'm waiting for that I've also decided that I'm going to make a little um, jewel. jewel I don't know whether that's what I'd call it I have no idea but I'm going to make something basically to go with it so I've got quite a lot of nail arty bits that I don't actually use at all 
so I just thought you know what making these is the ultimate like way of making use of them so that's what I'm going to do it's the wrong way around what an idiot so I've just got the backing of a form and I'm going to create a little it's probably going to be one of those things that's going to look much better in my head yeah. So I've done that, I'm going to make it more of an oval type of shape. Honestly, people make stuff like this look so easy. But it's not, it's all an illusion. So, just done that. I'm just going to go around here, just tidy that up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some of these flakes on the top. I don't actually know what that's going to do to it really, but I just thought it'd be cool. Ooh, I like that effect. I don't know if you can see, because I just feel like I'm really zoomed out. So this is where we're at. And then I'm going to do something really stupid, and I'm going to add crystals. And I'm going to really regret this. I just know it already. It's already a pain in the ass. Yeah, these are much bigger than I thought they'd be. I'd probably be better off with, um, what are they called? Caviar. I did think of that and I just thought, nah, they're a pain in the neck. Oh well. So are these. Right, I'm going to skip to the end of this. Okay, so I finished making that jewel kind of whatever you want to call it. This thing. Push that one up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll go with it, whatever. Um, I did encapsulate a little bit, put a bit of more acrylic in there. So I'm going to get this back and then I'm going to encapsulate this with more clear. So I'm just going to go around and add the clear. Basically, just doing it exactly like this. So I'm not going to film the whole way around because it's going to end up a really, really long, boring video. So I'm just going to finish this off off camera and then I'll come back when it's set. So just quickly, I'm going to go over everything that I've used while that's set in. I've finished encapsulating it. I'm just waiting now for it to all set. So I used these for the jewel. For the jewel, I used these chrome flakes from Nao Nails, um, and also these little tiny little crystals. They're just from AliExpress. Super cheap. And then these shards we used for the whole thing. Um, I will show you the other colours. Okay, so this is the full set that you get. Um, it comes in this tray, which is perfect because this is how I store my glitters and stuff. Well, not glitters. This is how I store my things. <laughs> um, so it's just amazing. You get different shades of each colour and they are so shiny. So I used the silver out of that set and then I've got my palette here from Wild On Interiors that was in my last video at the very end. Um, glitter brows, glass slippers and then glitter brows, violet monomer. So I'm just going to keep checking on this, see if it's set because you don't want to try and get it off before it's set because then you're just going to ruin everything you've done. So it is still a little bit too... It's movable, which is not good. So I'm going to leave it a couple of minutes and I'll come back. So it's not just rings that you can make either. I made this little kind of like token thing. don't really know what to call it, but um, you can use it as a key ring or on a necklace. You can make so many different things with acrylic that I've never even thought of until this ring thing became popular. So it's all very interesting. So anyway, I'm just checking now if it's set or not. And it's not. I'm in quite a cold room, so it's going to take a little bit longer. So I'm just going to give it another second. Okay, so it's been a few more minutes, so it's definitely set in more now because it's starting to come off. So you just want to pry it off, really. If you don't want to ruin your nails, which I shouldn't be because I only did them last night, but now they're covered in ink, I don't really see the point in looking after them. Um, you can use like a cuticle pusher or anything like that to get it off. So this is what it will look like when you've got it off. I did cut out a bit when I was trying to push it off too soon, but it's fine because I am going to file it quite a lot because I like them quite thin. So I'm quite like, I'm liking how it looks actually underneath with the, uh, the ink. So I'm just going to tidy my desk and then I'll be able to show you what's next.
Okay, so next we need to file it and buff it into shape. So I'm using this um, Glitter Vowels metal file just because I know it's straight. But if you don't have one, I'm just using a normal file. So I'm just literally just going to go across it until I'm happy with how straight it is and how thin and, you know, just everything like that. So do both sides. I'll do that now. Okay, so when you're happy with that and you've got it to the thickness you want it and it's all nice and smooth, um, I will say with application, the better you get your acrylic application, just like on natural nail, the easier it is to do this stage. So I've been quite careful checking it along the way from this angle to see if it's all the same width all the way around. So now all I'm going to do is just use a buffer just to soften the edges a little. I'm just going to do that all the way around, just holding it between my finger and thumb, turning it round. And then I'm going to use this absolutely gross buffer <laughs> to just soften the edges a little. And then look at it from this angle. And if you've got any bits that are like majorly thick compared to the rest, then you know that that's the bit that you need to like file basically. So I've done this one really thin because I'm not planning on wearing it or anything like that. It's literally just for show. Um, you can see that pink on the inside that I used with the ink. It looks really nice. Um, so you can basically just leave it like this if you like. Like that's it now. All you need to do is top coat. But obviously I made my little gem to go on top. So I'm going to get a bit of builder gel. So I like to put the ring on to do this stage. Like if I'm adding anything onto it and stuff like that. So I just basically plonk it on somewhere. I've added some builder gel onto it. I've not bothered with acrylic because I'm not worried about it lasting ages and stuff. So I'm just going to pop some builder gel on. And this is the jewel that I made earlier. I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm going to pop that into the lamp for 60 seconds. So at this point, you could literally do whatever you like with it. You can, you can paint on it with gel polish. You can just top coat it and have it as it is. You can do 3D acrylic on it. You can do whatever you want at all. And you can encapsulate anything at all you want inside as well. Um, I will literally just be leaving it like this. I'm not even going to add any more stones or anything. I'm just going to top coat. So I'll show you what it looks like next. Okay, so for top coating, I find the easiest way for me is to put it on my thumb just because it's easier to put in and out of the lamp then. So I'm literally just going to get my top coat and very carefully, without touching my skin, I'm just going to go around the ring. Obviously, if you do get any on your skin, just make sure to get it off. I'm going to go all the way around, just top coating. I don't top coat the inside just because it was on a smooth surface and it's done with clear acrylic. So to me, it looks pretty shiny anyway. But obviously, I've seen people like adding chrome to the insides and stuff like that. So you can do whatever you like with it. That's the beauty of these rings. And then I'm just going to pop that into the lamp. I'll do 30 seconds like this and then 30 seconds underneath. And that's the finished result. So I just think they're really, really cute. So hopefully this video helped. You can see the pink and the purple on the inside. And it's so, so pretty. It just makes it a little bit different. So I hope this helps. I'm aware it's a really long video, but just try and make one alongside me. You can keep pressing and pausing it to do the next step. You obviously don't have to make your own of these. I've never done that before either, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> um, thank you for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow for a different video. Bye!